Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School. Our today's tutorial is about this kinetic typography animation. This is the second part of this series of tutorials and in our previous tutorial, I have showed how to make this one. So if you haven't watched that tutorial yet, make sure you check it now. So without wasting any further time, let's start the tutorial. Here I have already taken a blank slide. So first, pick a text box, drag it over here, add some text. I'm typing typography, select all the text, change the font to TWC and empty, make it bold, increase the font size, change the font color to white, center, bring this one here in the middle, again pick a text box, drag it over here, add some text, I'm typing text animations selecting all the text change the font again increase the font size bold change the font color make it center now pick a rectangle shape drag it over this text box then go to format from shape fill change this color from shape outline select no outline then right click on it and select send to back Make sure that the text box is in the middle of this rectangle. Select this two, press Ctrl G to group. Bring it to here. Now we have to make a copy of this text box. Press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste. Here I'm adding the AND symbol. Increase the font size. Bring it to here. Again make another copy of this text box, bring it to here, change the text, I'm typing using powerpoint, increase the size of this text box, place it here in the middle. And basically we are done with creating all the necessary elements but before adding the animation we have to do something more. Pick a rectangle, drag it over here to cover this portion, go to format, from shape field change this color so that it matches with the background. From shape outline, select no outline. Press Ctrl D to make a duplicate of it. Bring it to here. Cover this lower portion. Again, make another copy of this rectangle. Place it over here. Cover this portion. Right click on it and select send to back. After that, select this text box. Right click on it. Send it to back. And we have to hide this text box behind the typography text. Now make another copy of this rectangle. Cover this portion. Right click on it. Send it to back. Select this text box. Right click. Send it to back. And now we can go for the animation part. So go to animation. Click on animation pane to look over our animation status. And to animate this first text box select this one from add animation select fly in from effect option select from right keep this on click duration 0.75 seconds from effect option we have to increase the smooth end and press ok after that we have to select this text box where we have added the end symbol from add animation select fly in from effect option select from left Set start after previous duration 0.75 seconds. Click on this drop down arrow from effect option. Increase the smooth end. Press OK. Select this third one from add animation. Select fly in from effect option. Select from bottom. Set a start after previous duration 0.75 seconds. Click on this drop down arrow from effect option. Increase the smooth end and press OK. Now we have to select the hidden text box which is behind this typography text and to animate this one go to add animation select lines from motion paths from effect option select up drag this red dot to the down place it here set a start after previous duration 0.75 seconds click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth end and we have to select this auto reverse option and then press ok so we are done with all the entrance animation 
Now select this text box again from add animation under exit option select fly out from effect option select to left set a start after previous duration 0.75 seconds from effect option increase smooth start press ok select the second text box again from add animation select fly out from effect option select to right set a start with previous duration 0.75 seconds click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth start press ok select the last one from add animation again select fly out from effect option select to bottom set a start with previous duration 0.75 seconds from this drop down arrow go to effect option increase the smooth start and press ok so here we are done now if you start the slideshow you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly this is the second part of our kinetic typography animation tutorial series and in your next tutorial I'll show you how to make this one. So keep your eyes on our channel. We are trying our best to upload the quality content every day. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, click on the bell icon so that you get a notification when we upload a new video. That's all for today. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.